Tiramisu is a crowd-pleasing dessert. It's not hard to make, but promise me, you won't substitute ingredients and you'll let it stand overnight so the flavors have a chance to come together. You'll need Savoyardi Lady Finger Biscuits, espresso coffee, mascarpone cheese, fresh eggs, sugar, cocoa powder, brandy, or rum. First things first, you need to make some espresso coffee. If you don't have an espresso coffee maker, then go to your local coffee bar and buy some real true espresso. You can't use American coffee. Don't even think about it. Next step is to separate the eggs, which means separating the egg from the yolk. Crack the egg on a flat surface, and then using the edge of the eggshell, gently sift back and forth, separating the yolk from the white. Be careful not to get any yolk into the white. It's not as critical if you get a bit of white still mixed in with the yolk. Beat the egg yolks and the sugar together until it's creamy and fluffy. Now add the mascarpone cheese, which is like a creamier, softer version of cream cheese. But don't be tempted to use cream cheese because it won't blend well and you'll have a heavy, soggy mess instead of a light, delicious dessert. Now add a small shot of cognac or brandy or rum to the mix just because it tastes good. Next we're going to whip the egg whites into peaks. I use an electric stick blender so that you can incorporate the air into the eggs as quickly as possible. I use a pitcher so that I don't throw egg whites all over the kitchen. Now gently incorporate the egg whites into the mascarpone mixture. Blend gently so that you don't deflate the egg whites. We're almost done. Here comes the fun part. Get your lady fingers ready. Lady fingers are a light, delicate cookie that quickly absorb liquid and flavor. Lay the cookies in a single layer in a square or rectangular pan. If you are feeling festive, add another shot of brandy to your coffee. Once we have the first layer of cookies, ladle a little bit of the coffee onto each cookie. You want it to penetrate the cookie, but not turn it into mush. Then a layer of mascarpone, but not too thick. Use the back end of the ladle or a spatula to help you evenly spread the mascarpone. Another layer of biscuits. Coffee. And a final layer of mascarpone. This is a pretty rich dessert, so two layers are plenty. Reserve the leftover mascarpone mixture because you're going to need it when you serve the dessert. Cover the tiramisu and the mascarpone and leave them overnight in the refrigerator. When it's dessert time, carefully cut the tiramisu into squares and place a square on each plate. Spoon some of the mascarpone mixture on top. Then with a strainer, generously dust the tiramisu with the cocoa powder. To save yourself time, you could plate this before dinner, but don't add the mascarpone or the cocoa until the last minute. Now enjoy, bon appetito.